Hello Monster Jam fans and welcome back to another Monster Jam OCD video. Today we're going to do a before the shelf review of Mix 7 singles by Spin Master Monster Jam. Welcome back everyone. Today is yet another before the shelf review. This time we have Mix 7. We're moving along here. I have received these in July of 2019. So I am way ahead of schedule so I'm very excited that you guys get to see this video in October although it was recorded way back in July. So hello from July and hello future me and future people. Uh, this has been a long time in the making. But anyway this is Mix 7. Of course this is the mix with the horsepower, zombie chase piece, inverse trucks, monster with Dalmatian, and a few other goodies which we will talk about before these ones. So let's take a look at these other ones before we take a look at the best of the case. So we'll take a look at the first one, which I think is my least favorite of the case, uh, sadly. It is my least favorite of this case, though. Uh, it's just a chassis change for the Earthshaker, of course. Earthshaker came out before in these singles packs with the black rims, which is pretty accurate, and I love it. And also, it does have a similar chassis to the Brodozer, which had those yellow bead locks with the black rims. So let's unbox it and take a look at the Earthshaker up close. This is, of course, Mix 7. So there's the back of the card without Earthshaker. And let's take a look at the poster and the truck. So here's the truck. Of course, uh, it's got some stuff from the packaging all over the place, but uh, here's the truck. We will take a look at the poster first, though. You can see here the figure, of course, yellow, and uh, let's take a look at this poster. First thing, of course, always in here is the complaint card and the poster complaint card there, and here's the poster. So let's open it up and take a look. I assume it's exactly what I thought it was. It's just the next assortment, of course, without the first two assortments. So we have um, mix, whoops, it's glued, it looks like. There we go. Uh, we have mix um, three up here, and then mix four, mix five, mix six, mix seven, and mix eight. Now they did correct the poster from last time. I'm not sure why it's so blurry. This is a really blurry looking poster, but uh, you can see here, the World Finals Gravedigger has been corrected, and they have the Inverse Trucks Gravedigger, Radical Rescue, W, Cyclops, Sparkle Smash, and a bunch of different trucks in there. So look at all those, that's crazy. I can't wait for that assortment. Uh, I'm really looking forward to Cyclops and Sparkle Smash and W. It's just going to be an amazing assortment to see all of those together. And yes, finally, we have Earthshaker on the back of the poster. I love Earthshaker. So there it is right there for the back of the poster. Again, that's the poster for Mix 8 or Mix 7, but it has Mix 8 on it. I'm not sure what they're going to do with Mix 8's poster. It might have next year's first assortment. I'm not sure. That would be crazy. But here's Earthshaker. And I'm going to be honest, it doesn't look that bad, but you can see here it's just a simple swap that we could have used for something else. But uh, you can see here it's got a gray chassis with the yellow beadlocks, a little darker yellow kind of construction yellow compared to Brodozer with the bright yellow. And it has black rims. Of course, nothing really changed about the truck itself. Just the same thing with those changes. So there's Earthshaker. Quick little one for this assortment. And another quick one, because I don't really like this one either, it's just another simple chassis swap. We have the Alien Invasion, which is part of the Arena Favorite series. So here it is, the Alien Invasion, of course, same thing in there with this green figure. And uh, this is the second time we've seen Alien Invasion in the singles packs. Of course, we had Alien Invasion in the singles packs before with these nice chrome green rims. Uh, before, it did not feature the MonsterJam.com on the tailgate, which now it does, which is pretty cool. So you can see there, MonsterJam.com on the tailgate, which was actually a feature of the uh, playset edition. You can see here, they had the MonsterJam.com on there. This came after the singles one, so this is the order of events. Singles, this one to the singles again. So they did add MonsterJam.com on there, uh, and they kind of changed the lights up a little bit, so they're a little darker green on this one. Uh, of course, this uses the green beadlocks with the gray rims and the green chassis. Pretty much just Chrome Gravedigger on an Alien Invasion, uh, or Alien Invasion on a Gravedigger chassis from the Chrome one from Mix 3. So you can see here, pretty cool though. I still like this one. Uh, it's just a little too much. I don't really think this is the best one, but uh, it's still pretty cool to see it in Mix 7. So there's Alien Invasion from the Arena Favorite series. And next up is the Nitro Neons Max D. Now, I'm very excited about this one because we had the one from the Double Packs earlier this year, which had the yellow tires and the yellow roll cage. Now, I don't really think this one looks the best, but when I heard they were making the orange one, I was really happy. So let's take a look and compare them. So here is the Max D with the Nitro Neons orange, of course. We have the yellow figure, and here's the orange. So honestly, it looks so much better with the orange. It just, it really makes it um, highlight the orange flame uh, area here, and it's just much better than the yellow one, although it's still pretty cool to see the yellow. Uh, the orange one stands out to me much better than the yellow one ever did. So here it is. 
very simple, but it's got the orange tires, the orange roll cage, and of course the black rims. So great job with this one. Definitely a redemption from the original double pack one with the yellow. So there they are compared the Nitro Neons Max Ds. And yet another Nitro Neon, we have the Megalodon, which I think is probably one of my favorite Nitro Neons of the year because it has a very cool vibe about the ocean and the, the shark itself. So let's take a look at the Megalodon up close. So here it is, the Megalodon with, of course, the blue figure here, uh, a little darker blue than we've seen before. So there's that. And of course, we have the truck itself with the blue roll cage, the blue rims, and uh, this really cool shark body. Obviously, we've seen this before. Uh, it's a little more matte than we have seen previously. It's kind of a, a really cool matte feel. It's kind of like a, almost a real shark uh, skin, very rough. And you can see here, the windshield is blue. It's hard to see, but it is blue. And just an overall great looking truck. I love this Nitro Neon specifically because of how this color works really well with the shark. So there's the Megalodon for this assortment with the Nitro Neon's trucks. Uh, just incredible. So there it is right there with this brand new look. And next up is the World Finals edition of Gravedigger. Now, this is the World Finals 17 Morgan Kane edition. He, of course, won racing that night at World Finals uh, in this truck with the orange paint job. And it's now back again with the Spin Master model. So let's open it up and check it out. And here it is. Got a little bit of stuff all over the place, but uh, here it is. I think it's a cool little touch here with the purple figure and, of course, the Gravedigger itself. So uh, they basically have corrected this Gravedigger and all the other Gravediggers past this point with the flame wrapping, of course. In Mix 6, you guys saw the Danger Divas Gravedigger with the green wrapping. Very accurate to the real truck. Uh, of course, the Mattel one did have this same style, but it did not have the full flames. I will compare this mix to Mattel in the future, but you can see here the flames uh, are wrapped up there on the hood for the first time ever. And I love it, this is just super cool. I still love this orange design, uh, very interesting. And uh, it's a little light on the orange here for me, um, but it does kind of remind me of the real truck. It did have a really bright orange. Um, it could have been a little darker on the roll cage and the rims, uh, personally, and maybe even the flames and the decals. But uh, for what it is, for a throwback kind of to this World Finals design with the full flame wrapping, I love it. So there's the Gravedigger Morgan Kane World Finals 17 edition. And Bye. next up is yet another Avenger model. Now, people are going to probably look at this and say, wait a second, didn't we receive that this year? We were just going to rim swap. Well, actually, no. This is the Retro Rebels edition of the Avenger. Now, it's kind of interesting why they use it in Retro Rebels because it's not a throwback design but it does have a very specific new part of it. So let's open it up and compare it to the original one. So this Avenger is different because the casting has been changed to the S10 inspired tooling. So when we originally received this Avenger, you can see here it had the Escalade Ford style front. And now you can see the inspiration behind this truck is of course the S10 Chevy. So you can see here the front is inspired to be like that design. So let's take a look closer here and you can see the design of the headlights, of course the front grille, and the side panel, all of it, a lot of new etching in the design as well. And of course the tailgate uh, also modified the taillights and all this stuff on the back. Uh, so the same decals just on a new tooling. So they have corrected this tooling and they probably will use this for most Chevy bodies in the future. Uh, it does have a little bit of a wider window up here for the uh, cab there uh, compared to the original. But you can see here the original tailgate was just very simple. Uh, it's now very detailed and of course the front grille is the big part here with the S10 front. So I would love to see Wrecking Crew in the future on this body and other Chevys that we have not seen, Rage, uh, etc. So this would be awesome. Team Scream definitely uses this body a lot and it looks great. So there's the S10 inspired tooling. It has black rims with a green beadlock and of course a gray chassis. So uh, that's the uh, design for the S10 Avenger. Very awesome. I can't wait to see what else they do with this body in the future. And now we're getting into the big ones. We can see here the Monster Mutt Dalmatian inverse trucks of course we have seen dalmatian before with the normal style body and we have seen inverse trucks in the past which was the other one from mix five the higher education inverse versus the normal one of course inverse trucks are just reverse colors of the original so you can see here anything that's yellow is now black and anything that was black is now yellow and same with the tires and the rims they get swapped as well uh, any any other decals that have uh, big colors like those are swapped so you can see here higher education is pretty cool and now we're going to take a look at the monster with dalmatian with the inverse trucks body so here it is, it has a red figure, of course, Cynthia Gautier and Candice Jolly. And you can see here, 
the Monster Mount Dalmatian versus the normal Monster Mount Dalmatian or Monster Mount Dalmatian inverse versus the normal one. So uh, basically they've added on the white spots, of course, uh, versus the black spots originally and a black body versus a white body, the white ears versus the black ears. And the, of course, the tail has been changed as well. Also, the color has been changed from blue on red to red on blue. And of course, the uh, color uh, tag here is the same thing, uh, but there has been a lot of different shading added to it. So I like the shading uh, between the fur and stuff. You can see here a lot of detail. Of course, the eyebrows also changed to white and lots of detail around the mouth. I love it. This thing's just so sick. So there it is there. The Monster with Dalmatian inverse trucks, of course, red tires, black rims, and just an overall amazing looking truck. They should run this in real life, honestly. It would be really cool to see. So Dalmatian versus inverse Dalmatian. I honestly really like this body. And funny little story, uh, when I was six years old, I actually drew a picture of Monster Mutt Dalmatian with an inverse body, which was the Mercury body. I drew with a black body with uh, white dots on it. So this was really interesting to see as a truck because I was like, whoa, that's a blast from the past. So there it is right there, the inverse trucks, Monster Mutt Dalmatian. And now we're onto the horsepower. And here it is, the Horsepower, a very interesting truck, one that people probably were not expecting to see this year. When I first saw the prototype of it, which was just a plain gray body, I was really excited. So this is the first time I'm actually seeing Horsepower up close in the final production stage. Of course, we saw it in revved up recaps, and now we're gonna get to see it in Sparkle Smash form with a unicorn horn. But this is the Horsepower, the normal horse for this mix. So mix seven's Horsepower. So there it is, it's got an orange figure here and it has of course the horsepower so wow this is just crazy cool uh the first thing i want to note is that these are supposed to be horseshoes uh, on top of the hose of course the brown rim with the horseshoe style beadlock of course it's chrome so that would be very interesting to see if they do maybe a black max d next year or in the future with these chrome beadlocks that would be insane so very cool chrome beadlocks i love that and of course the body itself just amazing crazy cool graphics of course lots of shading shadowing and the mouth uh just an overall great truck so let's take a look up close uh, you can see here the mouth of course has 3d teeth uh, the nose, uh, of course, the nostrils are 3D as well. Uh, you can see the reins here and the straps, of course, on the side here. Horsepower logo, the Monstrum logo, and the mane, of course. This is a plastic insert, kind of a rubbery insert, but it is uh, still there. Of course, you got the ears, and uh, let me zoom out a little bit here. There we go. Uh, the, the mane, of course, down the back and the tail. Uh, there is a slight bit of paint on the mane to make it dark brown to light brown. Just a very slight shadowing effect there. And you can see the ears, the windshield, and the truck itself. Just a very cool truck. I love it. Originally, when I saw it, I was just like, whoa, that's going to be crazy. So uh, when I, now I'm seeing it in the final production, it's just crazy to see how far it's come. There's horsepower. I cannot wait to see Sparkle Smash, the unicorn-style horsepower truck. There's horsepower for the first time ever, Mix 7 Singles. And the last truck of this case, the chase piece, of course, the training truck zombie. Now, this is one of the final chase pieces of the year. Of course, the last one will be Dragon. And now we're going to take a look at the zombie one up close. Let's unbox it and check it out. So here it is, the zombie with the dark maroon figure. Very interesting color. I love it. It's like a blood red. And now we have the zombie. Um, let me clear off all this dust at the packaging causes but uh, here it is the zombie with the charcoal chrome rims of course the dark gray tires with the maroon red bkts and of course a maroon red roll cage as well with the metal chassis of course metal uh fully metal for training trucks and of course the plastic cab with the zombie face it's got the zombie logo there with a side panel uh protection guard here with the metal of course red stripe and a pale white piece the cab itself just like the real trucks zombie is very pale you can see here right there with this zombie and just insane probably my favorite so far of the training trucks um, besides grave digger i love this thing very interesting i'm sure people are gonna be looking very hard for one and i love the uh, addition of the charcoal chrome rims which were a, um, an addition that i didn't actually know about so that's very cool with those red bkts as well so there's the train truck zombie and that will conclude the mix seven assortment of the singles for spin master monster jam 2019 such an amazing year and i cannot wait until the next mix so that has been the mix seven review i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time this is random monster jam oc signing out.